All right, everybody. Uh, my name is Brooke Neighbors. I'm one of the uh, work experience teachers. We are going to do work experience just a little bit differently this year. If you've ever done it before, we used to use a website called You Are Working. Um, you Are Working is kind of not working <laughs> so right now. So we have gone to just straight Canvas. Um, and I'm going to share my screen here in just a second, and we're going to go over it. I do have two other teachers on here with me. I have Mr. Barry, who's co-hosting with me, and Mr. Tanner uh, Bedwell out there. Mrs. Holden, if you're in Mrs. Holden's class, I'm kind of going to do her orientation too. I don't see login. She's got a had a meeting, prior meeting, and we're going to cover that. Um, she, I'll let her do that. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Probably just do Look at that one. Move my stuff over here so it doesn't look like I'm not looking at you guys. All right. First off, when you log in, you're going to see this is what it looks like. It has meeting dates, has all this information. Um, if you have friends that want to take this class again for second, third time, they can. You can have multiple units that we're going to talk about once we get in the syllabus. Um, you can take COTR 19V, NG. We have changed some stuff, um, the COTR 19G, and this is the last semester we're gonna have BA 19V. They're just gonna be um, straight up COTR 19G and V all, all in the same area, so you don't have to go looking for it. Um, I believe it's up to six units for the G. I have to make sure I keep that updated because it changes as we go. And then if you're taking the V, I think you have up to 16 units. Um, so that's the difference between the two classes and whichever one you're in. If you attend this meeting, you don't have to attend the other one on the 25th. Um, here are the teachers and here's how you get a hold of them. Let's go right into the syllabus because I think that helps the most. All right. This is information. This is the, you know, the stuff that we need about orientation. Um, students are going to have to do some learning objectives, which we'll show you on a form. Um, and we have to be consistent. Um, the class website is going to be in Canvas. There is no textbook. You can take different courses. You can take this over and over. There's paid and volunteered. I'm not a big fan of volunteering because there's a lot of extra paperwork you have to go through, but we can deal with that on a case by case basis. Um, if for some reason we okay the volunteering, for every 60 hours that you volunteer and you're gonna to have to get proof of it, you get one unit. Two units is 120, that's for volunteer only. And three units is 180 points, 180 hours. And it goes all the way down to eight units. Same with paid, but you have to do more. If you signed up for three units, and now here's the weird thing, you need to check on WebAdvisor. Everybody needs to check on WebAdvisor. How many units did you sign up for? Everybody can say, I signed up for three. Please go in and check because you have to specify it. By default, it's going to put you at one. And we can add you more units later, but it just becomes a pain in the butt. What we cannot do is after next week, if you have three units, you'll go down to two units. We can't do that. So it's real, it's real important that you go into WebAdvisor right away and you look at your units that is listed in WebAdvisor. I don't care what you say, your counselor says, it's whatever's listed in WebAdvisor. There's some very special things that happen in WebAdvisor and they don't always look the way you want them to look. So if you sign up for three units, you need to do 225 hours over the whole entire semester, which is a semester's 18 weeks. We try to, you have to finish up by the 17th week. Um, so that gives you a lot of time. If you are teaching for, if you're teaching, if you are working 40 hours a week right now, <laughs> you should be done in 40 hours a week. You should be done really quick. Secondly, if you're going to school full time and you're working 40 hours a week, you got a load going on right now and then you're going to be crazy tired. So I highly suggest you get this done quick. It's very hard. We always suggest that between 20 and 25 units for a full time student just to survive. Um, if you want to hear more about that, you can call me up. We can talk. I've had multiple kids go through the system. I know some kids that pulled it off 40 hours a week, 40 hours a week and go to school. Wow, it's tough. 
academic accommodations, I don't know why you would need any accommodations for this class because we just fill out forms and you work. That's up to your boss, okay? But if you would like to turn in some uh, accommodation uh, from the DSPS, send them to your, your uh, teacher and we'll go from there. One thing I got to st stress and every teacher that's on this meeting with me right now, this is not, these are not free units. Hey, I don't want to do anything, okay? Um, they're not free. You have to do the work. You have to get the objectives done, which I'm going to show you how to do it. You have to keep in contact when your, when your instructor sends you out an email in the Canvas or something or any of the due dates, you need to get it done. Okay, it's very, very, very important. Grading, we have a syllabus quiz inside of Canvas, 10 points. You're going to have an objective sheet you have to fill out. It's a form. It's an Adobe uh, Acrobat Reader form. You just fill it out upload it to your teacher in Canvas and away you go. There's visitation. Um, it's also found in Canvas. We, um, this is an online class. So what we'll do on a visitation is um, usually um, we'll call you up or have a uh, video chat of some sort, Zoom meeting or something on your phone that we can uh, communicate with you at the workplace to make sure you're there. Um, I, we don't want this to be a situation where somebody says I work at Starbucks never had a job there. We can't prove it. We never saw you there. So that's why we do something like that. Your timesheet hourly uh, hourly working. It says you're working. Don't, if it says it in there, I thought I got them all out. Um, don't worry about that. There's nothing there. There's a timesheet form to fill out and keep what I do is print out. I keep writing on it and updating as it goes. Okay. There's a um, contract at the end. This objective sheet, we'd like you to upload within the first some teachers are four weeks, some teachers are six weeks. We just want to get done. What it is, your contract, it's your ticket to start. The objective is your ticket to start this class. Um, at the end of this, we're going to do a selfie. You're going to even upload a selfie. You're going to get your cell phone. You can go in your workplace. Hopefully you have a boss or supervisor. You're just going to go, boom, hold the camera up with you and your boss in the workplace so we know it's someplace in work. Take a picture. This is more documentation. We're going to have to have so if the state comes in and audit us that's the only reason we do it if your employment place says you cannot take pictures inside because you're doing nuclear stuff or something like that on the way out you can just take a picture real quick of you leaving the building or whatever you want to even out front um, by the marquee of your business we just need something and you know what it's not because we don't trust you it's just because when the state auditors come we can say see we're communicating with this there's their timesheet we visit them through um, video um, but here also is a selfie. This is where they work and they can follow up from there. There's your point system. Um, of course, policies we can go over. Um, the biggie is the workplace. Once we get started here, it's up to you to manage with your boss. Um, like the objectives, what is your objectives going to be? Um, can you sign these forms at the end? You need to communicate. What I'm finding out, um, especially with my own children now, communication is a big deal. And sometimes uh, there's a little fear level that happens. Um, you'd like to text somebody or do something. You have to communicate with your supervisor about this class. Don't wait to the last minute we walk in there and they go, what? Communicate, communicate, communicate. Open those channels up now right away. It helps. If you're going to drop let us know. Don't email us. Say, hey, you know, Mr. Barry, can you drop me from my class, your class? You can drop from in web advisor. Okay. Um, the college, what are our responsibilities? We're a liaison between your, your we're going to go visit and talk with your supervisor online or through a phone. Um, some teachers might come go in. I don't think they're going to um, because all the COVID stuff happens. Help you in the area fulfilled, make it give you improvement. Ensure that you're uh, being fairly uh, evaluated and uh, supervised. Some some big corporations do not let you be a, or don't allow the evaluation process because they have their own evaluation process through human resources, and they feel it's a violation. If that comes to a situation where you have that at your workplace, please contact your teacher, and we can work that out as well. Um, what else? That's the end of the syllabus. But now what I want to get into is the most important thing is under modules. Okay, under modules, there's a little welcome. Here is your syllabus quiz. You can take it as many times you want. It's worth 10 points. 
here are all the forms that you're gonna need for this class. Here's your objective form, you click on it, you could open it up, you can download it. I'll wait till it loads here. This is your objective sheet, okay? And if I was to download and open it, these are all fillable, okay? They all fill in. But for some reason online, it's not doing it for me right now. Um, but you'll just type in these little boxes. Let's see if it does it while I'm here. Um, type in these little boxes and has all the information. These are your objectives. Objectives are, as it says, what are learning objectives? How, um, how will you accomplish them? It's something you probably do. You don't have to do a new one every time I come. we come or you, you um, start a, a new project. It is, can you see that coming up? Yeah. Do you see that screen, that little Adobe form that popped up? Somebody shake their head, yes or no. All right, I'll bring that up a little later. Um, what you'll do is you'll type in your job. Let's say um, I have a lot of people who are working in the restaurant industry. What do you do? I, I, I survey my area and make sure everything's clean. So my objective would be survey the area uh, or keep my area clean. How are you going to accomplish that? By walking around, picking up things, straightening things. There's one objective. Two, make sure my, my clients are happy. How you can do that? By checking their needs, checking their water to be filled. Do you see where I'm going with this? These are very basic. At the bottom, your supervisor is going to have to sign this. Okay, and it's your responsibility within the first couple of weeks to get it back to us. Mr. Neighbors, where do we get it back to you at? Under modules. Right here, there's objectives. You got to get a signature. So you print that off, you get a signature. I like a Genius Scan. You take your phone over the document after you print it off and your boss has signed it and you use Genius Scan. You make a copy of it and guess what? Oh, was that the quiz? Yeah, you come right in here, um, upload it and the question, oh, there's the max points. I went to the wrong area. Let's get the, uh, let's get the objective sheet. That's why I thought I clicked on. Oh, so you'll go in there and you'll upload it, okay? You'll go upload your, your, um, your information. You go right here, you choose your file, you look on your desktop and away you go. Here's my learning objective. Upload it. I hit submit quiz, guess what? Boom. My objectives are turned into my instructor and they can see it. If you mess up once, do it again, do it again, do it again and your supervisor will keep coming back at you. So that's your objectives. We have a place for your timesheet. We have a place for your um, exit contract and selfie. If you come in here, like, how do I do that? Here's what you do. Let's take the quiz. You come in and give you two boxes, one for the selfie to upload and one for your contract, which we're gonna look at here in just a second. <coughs> this is done at the end of the class. So you don't have to worry about it. With your picture, sometimes if you have an old, um, if you have not changed your iPhone around and using these heck video formats, don't turn those in. We can't do anything with it. Here's a little video that'll show you how to convert your iPhone to an image that we can view. Um, let's leave the quiz. Let's see here. Let's look at the timesheet. Sorry, I'm in the wrong area. Uh, here we go, timesheet. Here's what your timesheet will look like. Okay, it has all the information for you. Um, you just, it, these are gonna be fillable blanks. If you use Adobe Acrobat Reader, if you have a reader, we can just fill it all out. Um, what we are doing this semester, we would like about the ninth week, we would like you to submit your rough draft of your timesheet. That way we know what's going on. We don't want you waiting until the 16th week and trying to rush to fill it out because that's a pain in the butt on your side, okay? So this right here is the timesheet. And then at the end, once you're done with all your hours, there's a contract, sorry. And there's a contract under the forms right here. It's a two pager. You have to reestate your objectives that you turned in originally, okay? You're gonna turn, you're gonna rewrite those and your boss is gonna give you evaluations here. You're gonna fill all this stuff out here, here, here. This is for your boss. This is for your supervisor boss. The gray area is for them. 
Um, I have evaluated, okay, your hours, everything that you need. I see that I have some out, um, some dates still hanging in there. Um, check the box, paid or volunteer. They can write about, they can take a pin and write about your strong points, your pencil, your, your weak points. They're going to rate you. You're going to sign it and date it. Your super's going to sign and date it. And you guys, your, your teachers, once they get it, will sign and date it. So you get everything done from supervisor up, done. Okay, you can print, the, you can type all this stuff in. So when you take it to your supervisor, just leave this blank, these blank, and then their evaluation area, leave it blank, print it off, take it to them, fill it out. Use your cell phone, genius scan it, PDF version. Take it back to your, take it back to your computer. Come back into modules and you'll see right here, step three, you can upload that stuff. You have these three documents turned in. You're done with the class. So now I know half the class is thinking, what happens if I finish by October? Do it. You can be done with this class. If, if for some reason you can get 225 hours for three units in the next three days, do it. Get it done with. You don't want this class hanging over your head. Um, what do you do if you're working DoorDash? You can take screenshots of your app, okay? Show the verification of the hours there. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. Um, there are due dates. I'd like this done. Um, they all say December 10th. That's the last day. We have no wiggle room. I would expect the objective sheet to be done pretty darn quick. I'm give, I give my students four weeks. Uh, Mrs. Holden gives a little longer. I think Mrs. Holden's going to say, make sure the objective sheet is turned in by the time you do your draft of the timesheet. Okay. Um, I do not, during finals week, I'm not going to deal with any of this stuff. I want it done before finals. So that's what I would do about that. Um, your supervisor for DoorDash, you're going to have to use your app. That's all I can tell you and work with your individual, uh, with your individual a teacher on this and let them know what you do. Okay. Um, I'm going to do one thing real quick. I'm going to take sharing off and then I'm going to, um, and then I'm going to share again. I want to share another page, my Acrobat page, so that you can see what you're going to do. Okay. Now you can see this. This is the, um, this right here is your uh, objective sheet. You can fill in every bit of this, okay? Everything you can fill in. You can save it to your computer if you want to. You may print it off, but you, this, you have to take it to your supervisor for signature. And that's where this genius scan comes into play. Because once you print it off, we're in the physical world where we have a piece of paper and we can't get it back in until you use this genius scan. Everything, we were not emailing us a thing. If you email us, we're not looking at it. If you have a question, we'll answer it. But don't email us the forms. They have to be uploaded in Canvas. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. Um, now I want to go to the point where, um, Tanner, do you have anything you want to add? Or um, Matt Berry, do you have anything you want to add? Um, just about the due dates, um, a lot of the students that I had that haven't been successful have just been sitting around on their stuff and they try to do it all before the 10th because that's what the due date says. Like Mr. Neighbors was saying, it's it's there because that's the last, that's the deadline. It's like I had a kid that tried to, a student, I should say, sorry, I've been around little kids all day. Um, they waited until the last second and then they were trying to set up their visit and it just, it wasn't possible before grades were due their supervisor wasn't around. So you wanna make sure that you're done soon enough to where we can get your visit in so we can get all of your stuff into the computer so you pass. It's a big deal. Matt, you have anything? And then I just had two things, um, some questions. Number one, you are gonna be able to backlog your hours to the start of the semester. So any hours you've worked this week, last week, you can go and fill those in on your timesheet. And you know, obviously due to the crazy world that we live in today, there's gonna to be some things that change. If your hours get cut back, if you lose your job, if there's something unexpected that happens, 
communicate because there's some other things that we can do to be creative in making sure you get those hours or earn those hours, earn the units that you're trying to do. But you need to communicate with us so we are able to tell you where to go from there. Like Mr. Neighbor said earlier, really communicating throughout the semester is one of the most important things you could do if something is changing or if you have questions. Um, I think, you know, sometimes your generation, the one just older gets, gets a little hammered on, but I think the only thing lacking, I think you're a very successful generation. I think the only thing that this generation is lacking is communication. Um, my kids will tell me bad news over my cell phone by texting. I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to kill you when I get home now. Just tell me face to face and we can work it out. Okay. So pick up the phone and call. Um, some of the teachers do allow texting. That's totally okay. You know, if it's a small question to like, but if it's a big one, I just got somebody come across the chat. It says, what can you use sick time for work? Um, does it count? Are you working? Uh, I don't think that's going to fly. You need to talk to your supervisor um, and we'll go from there. Uh, uh, for the hours of touch. No, I wouldn't count sick leave. Anybody want to just raise your hand or on, on do your mic? I would just raise, there's a little button down here on the bottom under reactions where you can raise your hand so I can call on you if you have a question for the, for the instructors or even something that you have an idea for the rest of the class. Quiz is currently locked. Whose is? Somebody said the, the quiz is currently locked. So that'll be unlocked after this meeting, I'm assuming. Yes, it will be. Uh, Peterson, you have a question, Caitlin. Um, yeah, so uh, on the timesheet, it had the hours of the week um, and then it had a description section in that. Are we supposed to detail everything that we kind of do like within that week or um, just kind of like an overview of our job description in general? That box is very, very small. So yeah, that's why I'm asking because <laughs> I be do very, it a lot in a day. Be very creative. Got it. Uh, it's better than what it used to be. We used to give you more space to write. But, um, you know, there's only so much you can put. But what I do is make sure you're not put, if you're doing the same thing every day, it might look the same over and over and over. I mean, there's no way to make it sound better. You know what I mean? Um, if you work in the IT department, uh, Peterson, did I, did I take care of all the rest of your question? Do you have anything more? Uh, that was it. Thank you. Um, somebody was asking about the IT department. They work at the closed community college and they timestamp pay stubs, um, Google AdSense like that, remembering, blah, 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 blah. Um, we're still going to have to, that timestamp, that's not going to help. You got to fill out this, our, our timesheet. It has to be our timesheet, not your employment timesheet. Um, Is it still the same as last year where you go on your website and then fill it all out? Nope, that's gone. It, okay. I, I forgot to pay for it and it just died. No, I'm kidding. But there were some issues with it. That's all right. So, we're trying to bring it back to life, but it won't happen for this semester. Okay. Um, yeah, I work in the IT department at Close Community College, and then I can do the pay stubs and then redact the payment like I did with the Google AdSense last year. And then, yeah, I can do the timestamps too and fill those out. Yeah, you can just time it, put, but it has to go into our timesheet form, whatever you do. We don't need to see your, your stubs, but other than that, you can go back and do that. Tang will help you on that. He's IT department's really pretty cool about that. Yeah, I let them know. Okay. Other questions? Okay, we have Kyle. You have a question. Go. Uh, yeah. So uh, this might be a dumb question, but if you have two, if you have two different jobs, are you're able to get the hours from both jobs? Correct. Yes. Okay. Who, who, who's your instructor? Um, you. Okay. We'll talk about that. And, and then the objective for the timesheet, just yeah. list where, where the description is. Say, you know, Clovis West, uh, where else do you work? Um, I'm doing uh, delivery driving. like So the, DoorDash, yeah. you know, all that stuff. You know, all that stuff would work. For me, that's how I would handle it okay. under the timesheet. Did I see it right that um, if you're going over a certain amount of credits, you had to be in a specific class? Well, it all, I mean, I think I can take in... If you're in the 19G with for general, um, you can go up to six units. Okay. If you need more, okay. you have to be in a V. How many? That's okay. the only thing we're offering in V this semester. This semester, it's the last semester, 
is BA 19 V with Mrs. Holden. Okay, because I, I I need five final credits for you're for fine. me to graduate. So. And you're gonna go to Fresno State then? Yep. Get your teaching credential. I'm applying my uh, for transfer uh, this week. And teaching credential. Mm -hmm. you're gonna coach at Clovis High, right? Clovis West. <laughs> Come on now. Okay. Good Come try. on now. Good try. I tried. <laughs> I was gonna get you to say yes. I'll get Scott Dilly to sign you up right now. Um, I bet. <laughs> Uh, another question, uh, Kathleen, Lena. When I asked that question over the chat, um, it was because with my job, I work for Fresno Unified. And so when I use sick time, I still get paid for those hours that I use my sick time. So that's why I was only asking. That's fine. It, okay. I can't count the hours though. It just... Are you are you logging Zoom hours when you're at home, or are you doing anything like that? What do you mean, the... on sick leave? Without going into detail, I don't need you know I don't need you to go into detail while you're on sick leave. But I'm just saying, if you're on sick leave, are you zooming into a classroom or doing anything related to your work at Fresno Unified? Oh, I see what you. Um, well, no, I I mean I do my homework on Canvas when I'm home, but. I was just home for two days because I hurt my back at work. So, um, sorry yeah. about that, but I don't think we can count that. Okay, just one. All right. How many hours a week do you get there? 35. You're going to have no problem finishing this class quickly. So, those two hours that you missed are not a big deal. Okay. Um, Young, you had a question? Uh, yes, I just had a quick question. So I actually um, am self-employed and do, I'm a housekeeper. Okay. So is it okay for the selfie to just take it in the house I'm cleaning? Yeah, I'm okay with that. And you then- have a super? You have a supervisor or manager or anything? Me, myself, I'm self-employed. I work for myself. I did work for another company, but I, I, I'm independent now. That a girl, entrepreneur. Yeah, so that's I, I wanna work for me, that's, that's right. Um, <laughs> that's <how it's> done. <laughs> and then, um, what was my other question? Oh, so for the visitation as well, same thing. Just, Who's your teacher? Uh, Miss Holden. Yeah, we'll work something out. But yeah, usually it's, she can do it over a video connection at the place. You know, just okay. so we know. Okay. We're trying to do the best that we can under the situations that we have right now. So okay. there are going to be some weird cases. We know that. And we're going to try to take care of that on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Shelly, is it Shelly Thatch? I can't see the... There you go. Yeah, yeah, Shelly. Um, so my question is, I basically do the same things every week. So when I'm do filling out the timesheet, could I just do like a whole week of that time? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Now, what do you do, Shelly? I'm a receptionist. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with that. But I went, who's your teacher? Holden. I'd have an email or a conversation with her. She's pretty cool about that too. Okay. And she's really willing to work. Just let her know what's up. And that way, if when you upload it at, you know, the nine weeks so that we can get a picture of that, you're not disappeared on us. Mm -hmm. My biggest concern, we had another system that really kept track of you guys. Um, we are going to have a lot of trouble and the teachers are going to be very creative this semester of making sure you don't disappear. Um, I, one of my sons has a, um, a lazy, I call it a lazy butt bone. And uh, he just kind of lazies out. And I ask him, are you lazing out? Yeah, okay. And uh, we get it together. And I understand I went to college too. Um, you get uh, lulled into complacency and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I got my other classes taken care of. I don't worry about work experience, you know, cause Mr. Bedwell, he's the coolest. He's gonna take care of me. And then all of a sudden, bam, Mr. Bedwell has to be a meanie cause you don't have any of your paperwork in. So work with us. I get it. It's not going to be your um, poli sci class. It's not going to be your organic chemistry class. Um, but we do have uh, objectives and we do have requirements that we will. We're kind of offended when you don't do them because we're getting blown off and it's not that hard. We could do an essay and a lot of other stuff required in this, but we don't want to. Okay. Uh, Angela, you know? Yes. Yes, um, ma'am. So if we're in for like three units, is there any way that we could go for more units if yes. I could work enough? 
you go into web advisor or you can call a college admissions and records and ask for more units they are going to want pay here's things i'm going to, now what i see you working in a coffee shop back there what coffee shop are you working in no, this is just like the back room of my work. <laughs> Where do you work at? Sorry. I, I work for AmeriCorp. It's like partnered with the Fresno Center. It's like a government nonprofit. Okay. Here's the deal. Here's what I recommend. And I want everybody to listen to this. You get real excited about, oh, I want to take 12 units of this class because I can get all these units, blah, 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 blah. Figure out the numbers of how many hours you're going to need because there's a lot. So what I always tell my students, work for three, you get three units. And then you can call missions at record. This is funny. I learned this about maybe five, six years ago. You can add units, not classes, but like this course, you can add more units this class all the way up to prior to the final. So what I would do is I would say at the nine week, if you already got your three units done and you want more units, do unit by unit. Here's one thing they won't do though. If you sign up for six units, you go, gosh, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do my, you know, whatever happened. I can only get three units. Can I get my money back? No, they're not going to give you your money back and you can't drop down to three units. Once you pay your money, you're done. They'll take your money at any time, but they will not pay it back after I believe this week. Okay. So be aware of that and don't be too greedy right now. It's the beginning of the semester and all your teachers are still being nice that you have all this time to do all this work. Life might change on you really quick, really fast. More questions, raise your hand. Oh, I'm trying to keep an eye on the on the board over there. Okay, help me with this. San, Santia, is that it? You have your hand up? Um, it's tonight. It's tonight? Yes. Okay. Okay, so my question is, is there any teachers for this class in person, like at in school, on campus? No, there is nothing. There never has been. This is a, oh, okay. a remote ask, access. There is no live classroom for this and never has been. Is that okay? okay thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Other questions? I have another question. Sorry. Go, Shelly. Okay. So are we doing visitations where um, the, the teacher will come into my work this, this semester? Because last time I did it, we didn't have that. I doubt that they, they'll probably be like last semester, okay? Okay. Now, if somebody gets squirrely on us, here's what I'll do. If all of a sudden I'm not getting work, I'm not getting paperwork, it's getting halfway done, and I'm like, this person's playing me, I might just show up, okay, and just say, hey, I'm just going to check. I'm going to walk by. I'll put my mask on. Just wave at me. I want to just see if you're there. Um, so if you get your stuff done, you're not going to raise a red flag with me. But if all of a sudden, if you're disappearing on me all the time and not getting your stuff turned in, I might drop by, but I don't know about the other teachers. So plan for like we did last semester. How's that? Now, if you work at Fleming's, let me know because I will do a drop by. Okay. I like the bone rib, uh, ribeye with the bone in. So we'll just let you know there. Kyle, you had a question? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to remind you that uh, your syllabus quiz is, is locked. So Okay, I will get that done. Um, I for, I'm forgetful if not, send me a text, but I'm I'm going to look across the screen while I'm answering questions, and I might just turn it on, too, over there. More questions? Come on. I don't want anybody leaving here and saying that don't know. Yeah, um, so for me, if I'm just working at a Clovis Community College, then I can just have Tang send you no, whatever, you... and then I need to fill out what I need to on the website, and then that's Tang pretty much it for me, right? Tang does not need to send us anything. It's up to you to get our forms done and send it to us and upload it in the interface. Yeah, of course. That's what I meant. Like, um, but I need to speak with them again, like just in case. He's the like, one that's gonna supervise you and sign that form. How's that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause last time I signed it myself, because last year it was uh I was self-employed completely. So um okay. okay, yeah. All right, so um, that's it for me then. That's all my questions. I know the web interface, so I'm good. Well, yeah, you know the Canvas interface. We don't have the old fashioned web interface, which is kind of a bummer. We will soon, but not for your guys. Right. If you take it next semester, it might be the new improved you are working and it might be the same old Canvas. It's kind of up in the air right now. Yeah, Canvas is kind of acting up lately too. Like um, I haven't spoken to Nina, but it feels like I can't log in sometimes when I'm there. 
I have to like get off my the that, Wi-Fi. Actually, you know what it is? Thing? It's the district network. Um, if you're outside the district, <laughs> I hate to say this, don't tell me, but you're better off if you're outside the network. Um, because yep. what has to happen on that network, it has to go from Clovis to the district office and the district office out and everything coming back in has to follow that same path. And all four schools, Madeira, Reedley, and Clovis goes through that same tunnel. So it causes yep. a backlog. So I always tell people, just get off campus and do it off campus. Yeah, that's true. Or get off their network as well. And then top that off, like uh, we're putting new servers in and switching out old ones. So that was shutting down certain wings for a while. <laughs> Do you tell, here's what they'll, are you in my class, Austin? Yeah, I'm in the work experience. Who's your teacher? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm doing, if I'm you're finishing in my, my class, associates in web design. I think, I think it's me, Brent, pretty sure. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give Mr. Barry a, the A plus for you if you can tell Nico to fix my darn computer at school. How's that? Okay, how about I fix it for you? Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it in. I get do it all that. I do all the imaging and everything. So well, you might it. have to do it for me because I know a lot about computers, but there's one thing they have an admin password that they never give me anymore. So, um, Oh, uh, I can send it to you. You rock. You rock. Thank all you right. very much. Don't post it in the chat. It's for me and you. No, you can... no, no. Of course not. Just uh, can you email me or something? Yes, I will. I'll have Mr. Barry okay. tell you. Email Mr. Barry the the uh, Windows password, because it just keeps expiring on me, and you send that to me, and he'll forward it to me, and we're all in business. Yeah, you're good, and then um, if you need help with your AdSense account, I remember uh, last year you were talking about that, so. There we go. I'm still dealing with that, so I can help out as well. Just shoot me an email, and then that way I can securely send you the made password. New, thank you, Austin. I made a new contact. Thank you very much. Other no questions, problem, okay. Uh, Jeanette Zhang, Zvong. Song. Oh, I have a little question. So on the objective, objective sheet, what do we place for the schedule number? Sorry. It's on it, WebAdvisor. Each, each class has their own schedule number. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's it. Thank okay. you. Peterson, you have another question or just a hands up still? Uh, yes, another question. Sorry. Um, I This is my first time taking this class. The uh, visit, which is not going to be a visit because of COVID, will that be like a phone call or something instead yeah. or a Zoom meeting? Yeah, yeah you can do it. If, what do you do? Uh, I work at Costco. I'm a front end employee. So I. Clovis, yeah. Fresno, Abbey, 99, which one? I work at uh, 657. So that's the one on Abbey and, uh, Abbey and Herndon. Okay. Well, then you know what will probably happen? I know the. Uh, the, the teachers here are probably always going to Costco. Maybe they might do a drop by, but you can go in the little lunchroom area and you can get your phone out. And you can do a FaceTime with your manager and your boss and the way you're, you're done, okay? You got it, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else have a question? Tess, I see you have your hand up still, but I don't know if you have a question or not. Who works at, pa oh, you work at Panda. Wow, that's pretty good. I'll be by there too. Not Panda Express, Panda what? Somebody works at Panda. Yes, no, yep. Oh right. yeah, I work at Panda Express. You rock. I too, on Apple. Yeah, I love Panda Express. Well, you guys are getting me hungry. We're gonna have to stop this meeting here soon. Um, I'm gonna go to Habit. <laughs> all right, if we don't have any other questions, we haven't, if you know what? If you have more questions next week, you can log back into our meeting, watch it again on uh, on Wednesday. The the codes there on the on uh, Canvas, and you can ask questions again. We do not want to leave you hanging, um, so don't leave us hanging. So I'm going to stick around. If you just want to ask questions individually, totally fine. Um, I will send out, and your your teachers are going to have to send out. I'm going to send your teachers the um, video recording of this tonight, and everybody can watch it again and know that I like Flemings and Panda and all that other stuff. All right. Thank you, neighbors. Thank you. Stick, stick, thanks, Kyle. Stick around if you want to talk and so you don't like, I'm going to stop recording so people don't, they don't want to be recorded sometimes too. <laughs>